All right, it is toy haul time once again. I apologize for not being able to post some videos because the last couple of weeks I was out in the U.S. Uh, family had a vacation. We visited my sister-in-law uh, and my brother in the U.S. And among other things, we went shopping. And I just literally got off uh, the plane from the airport. Uh, it was a very long flight from the U.S. with two connecting flights here over to Manila. And it is literally 3 a.m. here in Manila, Manila right now. I wanted to film my haul, my entire haul, for the last couple weeks uh, of the stuff I picked up in the U.S. Uh, before I stored them away or started reviewing them. So, here we go. Um, let's start with the diecast uh, uh, haul. I haven't posted a lot of diecast hauls in a while. So, I went to Walt Disney World in Orlando and uh, took the kids to Disney World. Uh, we went to the Magic Kingdom, Epcot Center, Animal Kingdom. If you follow me on Facebook, then uh, you've probably seen the pics. Anyway, um, went to the Disney Store and they had their own die-cast versions of the Hot Wheels character cars. They're calling, they're calling them the Disney Racers. Uh, they were uh, uh, three for twenty dollars or something like that. Four for twenty dollars. Um, it was a good deal, so we picked up. My sister-in-law picked another Darth Vader, so I like. I thought that this was interesting. Uh, and then Danny wa wanted R two D two, or Danny wanted C three PO or something like that. But I said, you know, you got picked up C three PO, you got to pick up R two D two, right? So we, that's just what we did. The Disney, the Disney store. Um, well, the, well, it is Disney store at the hotel we stayed in. We stayed at the Art of Animation Resort, uh, very near. Walt, yeah, on, it's, it's also it's a resort very near the Walt Disney World Parks. Okay. Uh, hmm. Maybe I should do these last. Okay. Uh, I did pick up... Uh, at, I went to at Orlando. I did spot a couple of die-cast cars. Uh, this one was from Five Below. The Tuk Tuk Matchbox. I thought this was interesting. Uh, we haven't gotten any new matchbox cars here in manila so this was really refreshing to see uh, it was one dollar over here in manila matchbox sell for like 250 so there this was another one this one i picked up at at the premium outlets in orlando and uh yeah uh i thought this was interesting i didn't pick up the range rover i didn't pick up the lotus uh, the Land Rover I didn't pick up the Lotus, and this was the only one in the way that I thought was interesting. Okay, so that's that. And uh, this one as well. Um, I wasn't sure at first where I was going to pick this up. Then um, I, re I did some research, and these are the best of Matchbox that are done in the rubber tires. And they were just for $4 each at Toys R Us there at the premium outlets in Orlando. And I, l I lucked out with this one. This is the last one on the peg. I do like this casting. It's a great mold. I'm not opening it up. Rubber tires, very very nice. It's, you're never gonna see this at four dollars here in Manila. This is easily six six dollars or something like that. Um, anyway, okay. Uh, before I, oh one more thing. At uh, I think I picked this up uh, at a Walmart in, in Des Moines. I wasn't sure. I was gonna pick it up. This is the only one I picked up. Uh, Danny picked up a couple other cars. He picked up Danny picked up the Copa Camaro, as well as the Medieval. Uh, but this one I had to pick up because it was like peeping right there, and I saw it was gold. It could be the tumbler, and I'm I'm pretty sure it is the tumbler because I was looking at at the la the the engraving underneath. And it says DC Comics. So the only DC Comics uh, propriet uh, proprietary uh, car. Uh, in this wave is is the Batmobile right there. See comics, reading it. comics, uh, and that's the only one. And it's gold, the Batmobile uh, Dark Knight Tumbler, and that was the only one I was interested in in this wave. So I got. It. I'm probably gonna keep this one mint in packaging, so I'm not gonna touch that. Uh, uh, what else? 
uh, we stayed at Des Moines because my sister-in-law is a doctor at Des Moines. She, she's a doctor at Mercy Hospital out there. So we frequented a lot of the stores in Des Moines. Uh, I went to a, a Walmart there and uh, they had a lot of cars. Uh, cars 3 uh, uh, cars or die cast cars and I, there were a lot of cars I was interested in but I didn't have a lot of budget for die cast on this trip but this one I was very interested in because I only saw him like twice all the Walmarts, Targets and Toys R Us we went to in the US I only saw him twice and uh, so I decided to pick him up uh, Jackson Storm. Everyone's. I, don't know, I thought it was a pretty cool. There's gonna be a cool villain or a, a very cool foil for Lightning McQueen in the movie, and very very nice. Very glad I was able to get one. Still looking for Todd, the pizza truck. I'm sure again, and the others I'll probably get them on clearance. Also in that same Walmart superstore in Des Moines, I did pick up uh, these two. Uh, Batmobile uh, die-cast cars these are in a different scale from what I usually collect but I do have all the others uh, but these two are no I, I don't this is a different one the open opened uh, canopy cockpit and the uh, Batman versus Superman uh, Batmobile and you know these things are you, you're not gonna believe the prices that we're going for here in Manila they are oh my goodness like $18 each ridiculous ridiculous prices and I think I picked them up at Walmart for less than ten dollars I think each so not even ten not even nine dollars I think I think they were just yeah I think it was just like 850 or something like that anyway they were very cheap <laughs> the Walmart I went to very glad to have found them so that's that okay speaking of oh what well, a couple more things Toys R Us, or, um, yeah, uh, yeah, the Toys R Us at Des Moines, I did pick up this two-pack, it was much cheaper than single, single packs, I think, uh, they were much cheaper than if I had bought them here in the Philippines, in Manila, um, much, much cheaper, they were like two-thirds the price uh, of, here in Manila, so, uh, t uh, Toddler Groot, and the Go-Kart, and Rocket Raccoon, and I had to pick up two Yondus, and you're probably thinking, why you need two Yondus? And this is the regular version with the flat wheels. And I thought this was an error. It turns out it's not. Uh, this is like a running change or a variant. And both wheels, it could be an error. It's, it was, I only saw him once. It has the off-road wheels. But the paint on the, on the wheels is too intentional to be uh, an error. And I'm reckon, I'm re I reckon uh, this is a running change variant um, for this particular car. So I had to pick up both. Okay, Toys R Us in Des Moines. Okay, uh, I'd like more die cast, but we'll put the die cast on hold because I want to tell you a little story. Um, well, we, are, we went to Des Moines, went to Orlando, back to Des Moines, and then we were going to drive to Chicago to meet up with my brother. Um, because he's from Seattle and he didn't want to meet in Seattle. We didn't want to meet in Seattle. He said, let's go to Chicago because it was Memorial Day and he was going to celebrate his birthday during Memorial Day weekend. And we were driving from Des Moines. Uh, just entering the state of Illinois, my little boy, Danny, uh, starts getting car sick. And we go, okay, we got we to gotta go do a pit stop because he's not going to throw up in the rent a car. And so we do a pit stop and I saw, I see a Walmart. And I go, you know, I tell my sister-in-law, hey, we got to go there. I check out every single one because I was looking for the Marvel Legends Spider-Man and Vulture, all, Ultimate Universe Vulture set, which unfortunately, I, that was the only thing on my list for the U.S. trip that I did not get. Um, I, I did not, it was an old stock. Uh, I was kind of counting on it to be in in Des Moines, but they were all sold out. All Every single Walmart I've been to, they were all sold out. So anyway, I, I, was, I was trying to, uh, press my luck here. It was just by the I-80, um, the Interstate 80 going east, and we went to this Walmart. Uh, I forgot the, I forgot the the exit. What was it called? But anyway, um, and lo and I was like, I went there, and they had old stocks, and 
One thing I was really glad that they still had were these two. If you follow me on Facebook, you'll know the story on these things. I had completely given up on these because these warrior class figures, this particular wave, this was the last wave of the Minicon weaponizers before the Combiner Force hit. And our local toy importer here in Manila had skipped this wave for some reason. They didn't want to get this. They wanted to get, wanted to get a jump on the... Um, on the combiner force they picked up the first two waves so uh, we got sound wave early but we never got this and i was on the brink of ordering it for for amazon but i said i gotta find it at walmart or target whatever in the u.s because it's going to be cheaper and they were at 14 and then in that particular walmart was it was so grat uh, gratuitous I, I i found them they were like a ton of stock not a ton it was like a full case of them just sitting there they were the only walmart stores that had them. i'd given up on them because in orlando they were nowhere to be found uh they weren't in the, anywhere in des moines and i was like ah, i'm never gonna get these until i don't know who knows maybe we'll get them in the manila uh, uh, six months eight months down the road on clearance whatever and then i saw them. i was like so happy i could not believe it ratchet and bisque warrior class figures these were the last um, robots in this guy's figures I was really looking forward to. I know Hasbro is releasing a blue version of this guy, that old pirate, I forgot his name. The blue pirate, um, same as this one. I wanted Bisque, and I was really, really glad to get this. And also, in that particular Walmart, I was so happy because I was able to find a couple more die-cast vehicles there that I've never seen in Des Moines or in Orlando. Some Matchbox um, uh, cars, the two Mercedes uh, the uh, AMG 6x6 as well as the SLR McLaren. I had to get this from these two. These were like on my list and we were never going to get Matchbox cars until a long time because we got Matchbox cars last year and I think this year we're not getting any for some reason. I did get the Volkswagen um, transporter cab. Unfortunately, all the ones I, I saw had a broken uh, case and it's really due to the... Um, Mattel's new thing on biodegradable plastic but it doesn't matter it's a nice nice uh, transporter cab I, I, have, I haven't gotten the T2 cab though uh, from Hot Wheels so we'll see same Walmart where we had a pit stop I did pick up some character cars uh, starting with the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 I didn't pick up everybody because I already had Gamora, Star-Lord, and Rocket from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 series. But we never got the Drax from that series, from the Marvel series. And we, well, this one's new. So these were the only two I picked up. Um, unfortunately, I could not find Nebula. I was kind of hoping I'd get her. But she's a great car. Maybe I'll find her in the Philippines. Who knows? But they were much cheaper than... They were like four dollars here in Manila. They were gonna go for, I don't know, uh, at least three dollars, three dollars fifty, something like that. Now, uh, but four dollars wasn't too bad, so I picked them up. And again, I, I I pushed my luck, and I found more at the same Walmart. I, I pushed them, um, uh, uh, my luck, and I did find two uh character cars from stars i was looking for the scarif stormtrooper as well as this guy the rogue one k2s so very very nice i'm just so glad to have found this one i was really looking forward to getting this one and since we haven't gotten them in manila man uh, really really happy to have found that uh i picked up another rogue one character car but this one uh, on our way home back to manila we we stayed in minneapolis and I pushed my, I asked my sister-in-law sister to drive us to the nearest Walmart superstore in uh, Minneapolis near the Mall of America. And I found this guy. Last one on the peg, the Death Trooper. Oh my goodness. Really, really fantastic uh, die cast haul. Okay. Um, we went to the Mall of America, as I mentioned. And they had a Nickelodeon universe. Uh obviously this is the middle part the biggest area in, in that mall is in Nickelodeon universe and there was a toy store and I was able to pick this one this guy up um, a little bit pricier than other stores but still slightly cheaper than here in Manila he was at like 1250 12 dollars something like that 
uh, here in Manila he's going for 13 14 dollars anyway uh, but this is gonna go to my other daughter Chloe uh, we watched Guardians of the Galaxy and he was like the highlight and yeah I picked up the the non uniform uniformed version the one the original one that he wasn't wearing any clothes that's gonna go uh, for my wife because uh, she was really awesome uh, during the trip and yeah anyway uh, so this one's really nice I was very surprised that Funko actually did these things I thought they had fabrications and pops and whatever but I didn't know they had these so very very nice I did didn't luck out on the the, the toddler Groot for the pop it was sold out I mean uh, online it's going for twenty five thirty dollars but uh, the Mall of America Hot Topic and and Nickelodeon Universe had them for like $12, 12 dollars, twelve, twelve fifty, twelve ninety. I missed out. <laughs> anyway, so okay, that's diecast. Um, I should mention. Oh, uh, in Orlando, let's go. Why don't we do Marvel first? Uh, since we already started Marvel with the Groot. Uh, in Orlando, uh, we went to one of the premium outlets. We went to was the one near Vineland, and um, I, I, I wanted to go to a Walgreens. And, and push my luck on, on the Marvel's Invisible Woman and it so happened that Alex had a uh, like a, a scab, not a scab, like a she had a wound on her leg and was like um, needed some uh, some ointment or a wash or something so uh, back then you know after we did the, uh, the premium outlet I, I, I said to my sister-in-law we gotta drive to a Walgreens so we can get the antiseptic and lo and behold in that Walgreens they had a ton of the Invisible Woman and they were only I got them for like $20 1997 I think or 1998 um, less than $20 but plus tax it'll be over $20 this thing is going for $40 here in Manila at least $40 or $38 so at twenty dollars, very very relieved. So I, you know, I went to the last convention I went to before we left for the U.S. He was going for close, a little over fifty dollars. So at twenty dollars, really happy for about this purchase. So very nice. Okay, more Marvel uh, stuff before we go to Star Wars. Um, what I, I've not been picking up the um, Marvel Legends series the 12 inch scale figures uh out here in Mello we have iron man captain america and spider-man they're all going for 80 dollars now they're on clearance for 60 dollars can you believe it 60 dollars clearance regular price 80 dollars which was ridiculous i was not going to spend that much money on a 12 inch figure because i wasn't really into the 12 inch figures my bread and butter is a six inch figure but one thing that i had my sights on was the deadpool figure Bam! Went to a local Target. Uh, I will be posting a video of a, a toy sighting, toy hunt at Target in Des Moines uh, Superstore. And this was what I, f I found. These got several of them on, on the shelves. They were just $50, maybe plus tax. You could reach up to $51, $52, I don't know. Uh, but just $50, way below the uh, clearance price that uh, our figures have been getting here in Manila and we haven't even gotten this guy I was so surprised we didn't get him we didn't get him early probably because the cap Iron Man and Spider-Man figures were not doing so well and and they went on clearance very very early so very very glad to, to finally get that Deadpool I don't know if I'm gonna take him out of packaging maybe I will and then put him back so do review him and then and just put him back so really really happy about that now speaking of that same Target in Des Moines I had my sights on another Target, uh, on a Target exclusive set. This is still going uh, for about, hmm, for about, um, well, I, I picked it up at, uh, I picked it up at less than like 50 something dollars at Target, um, which is nice, which is like 20 bucks a, a figure something it was like 55 56 dollars but out here in manila it's going for just under a hundred dollars which is ridiculous and that's the cheapest i've seen this thing uh 
like $95 or $90 and it's ridiculously overpriced here in Manila because only hobby shops have it. Uh, the local importer did not pick it up because we did not have a Target uh, store so I, I've given up on this one. I was just really interested in these two figures obviously because I've had a ton of these of the Jin figures uh, but I might end up just opening this one up keeping these two and just selling her. I don't know who knows um, but it looks so great in packaging. Uh, mine got ruined in the shipping box because we had to bring a box home didn't fit in the luggages in our bag so yeah it's a shame but i might just go ahead and keep it uh, maybe sell my my single box gin i don't know but yeah very very cool all right and, um oh this was one last purchase for star wars uh this was the one i picked up at walmart in des moines in Des Moines and you probably know what it is this is the Star Wars Black Series Darth Vader that came with the, uh, the box set that came with the stands and here in Manila it is going for $80 can you believe it um, ridiculously high price and at that particular Walmart I got it for if I'm not mistaken twenty twenty four dollars something like that which was dirt cheap compared to the prices we're getting here so twenty dollars plus tax twenty two twenty four dollars not too bad of a set okay more Star Wars figures um, that same Walmart that we did a oh wait sorry no before we do that um, let's do some more Target exclusives I got these from Des Moines as well uh, the act 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 driver, as P2 says, ATACT driver, which is a Target exclusive, very nice. Uh, $20, $22, not too bad, considering it's going for $40 here in Manila. I've only seen one shop get it, it was, it was gone. <laughs> they didn't have a lot of stock. One dude, like in the convention. This one, I have not seen this in, in local hobby shops or stores. Very, very nice. And I think I picked it up for like 20, a little over the price of that Act Act Trooper. It's been like $25. So I thought it was okay. It was a nice little bargain. Uh, very interested in these three. Uh, she's okay. Uh, so, yeah. Put it here. And again, that same Walmart where we had a pit stop for Danny. So excited to find this guy. I didn't pick up the other figures in this wave, like the Death Trooper or uh, the other figures. This was the only one I was interested in. Uh, Seven dollars, I think, or seven eighty-five uh, for uh, Bodhi Rook. Now it completes my Rogue One set, set of figures. Also, they had these on clearance for like five dollars each. Lando Calrissian. Calrissian. Uh, Glad to see him. Now I can open him up. I don't have to, I don't have to open up my vintage collection. Do a review of him. Captain Phasma, of course. I had to pick him up. Five bucks. Jin, of course. I like the uh, female uh, heroes or heroines in in Star War in the Star Wars anthologies. This looked very very nice. I had to pick it up. Uh, the only one I didn't pick up was Finn, the the First Order Stormtrooper. Han and Leia. I wasn't too interested in them and you know even if they were going around five bucks I just these were the only ones I wanted. Walmart exclusive. And then last on my Star Wars figures we went uh, to a Disney store in Chicago uh, during the, uh, the Memorial uh, weekend sale and this was along the Disney store is along uh, Michigan Avenue or the uh, Magnificent Mile and our hotel was very near there. And if you collect the Elite Series, you know they're going for like $20, $25. And they, they were on sale for $15 in other states. Like in Orlando, they were like $15. In Minneapolis, they were like $10 each. And I really wanted this K2SO. And in Chicago, during the Memorial Day sale, boom, he was like $6. It was a no-brainer. I had to pick him up. $6 for a die-cast figure. Wow. If I had extra money because I had to pick up other toys and some canned tears and whatnot. Um, uh, I had, this was the only one I was interested in. The Elite Series was not my line. If there were a Grievous, I might have, 
but for six dollars for a k2so i think he will scale nicely uh with the six inch uh, black series figures because he was a very tall uh droid so yeah had to pick this guy up he had to get danny one as well alex wasn't really interested in the figures anymore but danny wanted one for himself so we got him the uh the stormtrooper the uh classic classic stormtrooper very nice uh this one i'm actually interested in as well it's not bad if you got to get one you get darth vader or this guy not too bad there was a darth vader set oh i was so tempted to get it 80 bucks for a complete set of darth vader uh, oh no not darth vader um uh kylo ren the stormtroopers oh my goodness it was so tempting but no okay speaking of candy a bunch of candy i picked up for my daughter i have the daughter chloe but included in my pasalubong bag with her uh together with groots the groots of toy uh one dollar each at Walmart Des Moines, 94 cents. Sweet tarts, Mike and I sell delicious. Sour Patch, these things are addictive. We don't get these here in Manila, that's why I had to pick up a lot. Uh, and Mike and Ike, unfortunately, it's amazing. We don't have Mike and Ike here in Manila. Alex loves these uh, Mike and Ike candies, so I picked it up. The last thing I picked up, and it's a big set, um, Walmart in Des Moines. This was one of the first purchases I got. I got the entire Voltron set. This is just plastic, regular issue that form Voltron. The Netflix Voltron uh, Lions. We got the Blue Lion. We got the Red Lion. There were still there was still one one more Blue Lion. There were a ton of Yellow Lions for some reason. I don't know why. We got Yellow Lion. We got the Green Lion. It'll definitely do a review of this thing. Oh my goodness, this thing looks so epic. If you watch the show, the series, you know what I'm talking about. This is not a bad show. Uh, not the original where we grew up with um, the old Voltron, but I thought it was a great improvement. Got the Black Lion as well. There were a lot of Black Lions um, there in that particular Walmart, but not a lot of Red Lions and Green Lions. So there was only like one green and one red. I, I was very, very lucky to actually get the entire set. Okay. So, sorry for the longish video as usual, but this, this is my haul uh, for the entire U.S. trip. Just the toys. Um, I have some basic Hot Wheels that I did pick up. Uh, a couple for Danny, and I, I'm not going to show it anymore because... Anyway, so, here we go. Hope you've enjoyed this little haul video, and until next time, thanks for watching.